Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, and ultimately what's going on with you, with your energy, with anyone that is in your energy. Welcome, beloveds, to any of you that may be new, that may be tuning and tapping in for the first time. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also a clairaudience. So during this reading and all of my readings, you will hear me playing music. And the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just blends very beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones. If the reading does not apply to you, just go ahead, leave it there. Do not try to force a story to be yours. Check your other placements so that you could see what other zodiacs you might resonate with, what other messages might resonate with you, I should say. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video is found or whenever you felt compelled, to click play that was divine timing in, in divine order that you have done so. So before I even delve in, I do want to formally apologize, publicly apologize for my audio issues. It is disheartening to hone in and channel in on energy for close to two hours only to upload that video and hear complaints of the sound not being there. And these are powerful messages. Uh, so I take it as not only am I having technical difficulties, not only is that lingering mercury retrograde energy still affecting me, because, uh, you know, it does tend to cause like electrical glitches, outages. Um, but I also take it as there's some energy that is really trying to prevent the message from coming out. Because during that reading, the last reading I did, the deception card came out, the deceit card showed up, but it was like hiding in the box. So I feel there's some hidden energy. There could be some some type of tricky energy that you need to be aware of. So really trust your intuition at this time, Scorpios. Um, and just do your due diligence, beloveds. You know, be, you know, be very observant of your surroundings. Be mindful of what you may be sharing about your personal information. Uh, and just hone in on your own intuition. Follow your gumption. Follow your gut instinct. Uh, your stomach acts as a second brain. So that is like you'll you'll feel it in your gut before you feel it anywhere else. Uh, so tune into that, hone into that energy. Speak energy right now, beloveds, because uh, someone is definitely watching, observing, uh, calculating, uh, and, and, and is not in a high vibration. This is someone very low vibrational, uh, confrontational, hostile, um, someone very um, envious. I just get envy, jealousy. I just get these energies that are really like, ugh, like, ugh, get off of me, like, ugh, get out of here. Like, you know, so be mindful, be mindful. Um because it did show up in the reading and then just the fact that, you know, the sound quality. So that's someone trying to block, you know, this message, someone trying to silence me from telling you uh, because you could be seeking guidance or you could be seeking a confirmation. And it's like they're trying to quiet the messages or silence uh, the message. But, you know, for those who who are meant to hear it, will hear it. You know, you can't block the sunshine. <laughs> you don't talk about. So, um but here we are. Here we are. We're going to do another reading just to, uh, you know, I want to balance things out. So if that last video, the audio was bad, we're going to proceed with providing a second reading and the the sound will be, it will be amazing, beloved. I'm speaking it into existence. So for all of you that may be new, um, I will that my energy, the way that I read, uh, I will that the way that I do things on my side of the planet correlates to your energy, vibes with your energy, that you could rock with me and the tribe here on First Stop Vision. Uh, to my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. 
Love is love is love. I appreciate you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I give honors to you all. Thank you so much for just being here, for always showing up, showing up, showing out. I appreciate you. So without further ado, we're going to do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful Scorpios, I ask my beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters to help me to tap in, tune into my energy, tap into the numerology of the cards, the energy of the cards. I personally call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number of synchronicity, vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mote be, beloveds. Ashe, 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 yo. So let's see what time we have on the time clock. So it is 11.51. Oh, can you see that? All right, maybe I got to turn the brightness down. So let's do this again. So 11.51. Can you see that? Yes. So that breaks down to eight. So I'm, I first thing I heard breaking karmic cycle, like breaking karmic, um, breaking karmic uh, um, cords, cutting karmic cords, breaking generational curses, completing karmic lessons, learning karmic lessons, completing karmic cycles. I just heard karmic. So there's something karmic that you have learned, that you are learning. So some of you could be on the, you know, very precipice of starting your dark night of the soul journey whilst others of you are on the very opposite end of the spectrum and are completing uh you know some sort of karmic lessons you're completing karmic uh cycles uh in your lives so i'm getting a sense of that that eight is also showing me strength like you've mustered up the strength the courage the wise dome to journey to trek to you know seek happiness joy to seek that self determination or that self resilience uh seeking self mastery uh seeking a deeper more inner profound you know understanding of yourself uh getting in tune and connected to your higher self to your god frequency tapping into that christ consciousness that is an energy um you know of learning that you're an alchemist uh and you've learned this through your process of healing because uh, I get the star with that eight as well. Um, so it's showing how you are co-creating with source. Uh, you're setting your intentions. You've already transmuted whatever that pain, whatever that disappointment, whatever that hurt was. And you're transmuting it and transcending that energy. Um, so it's like you are transforming, recreating a, a regenerating. It's like you're emerging someone different, someone more powerful. Uh, you are a wish fulfillment to others because they see your strength, your beauty. They see how much you've healed your wise. Like I just get a very wise soul, like a sage-like energy, uh, someone who uh, just attracts whatever they are uh, because it's like your, your vulnerabilities have become like your superpower. Uh, you, are, you are who you are. And who you are is different. It's it's rare. It's um it's mesmerizing, it's mysterious, it's intriguing, um, and it's attractive, you know. So there's someone perhaps has their eyes on you and they're seeing you as some sort of wish fulfillment. They're seeing you as uh, someone very well balanced, uh, very grounded, even intuitive. Uh, they see you as someone 
who brings like infinite possibilities like you make them think of a future um they're thinking of a future they're thinking of building and and cultivating and co co-creating with you because i'm also seeing like the eight of pentacles where someone wants to collaborate someone wants to build a partnership or build this alliance um this is like establishing that nucleus uh, and you establish that through establishing a solid foundation. So whoever this is, is someone that wants to take action. Like they want to uh, be intentional because uh, I'm also seeing the Eight of Wands. This may surprise you with perhaps whoever this is revealing these truths or whoever this is that comes in and the way that you will feel. Um, you'll feel it too. I feel chemistry. I feel synergy. I feel passion. I feel desire, I feel attraction. Um, I'm also hearing the word seduction. So this is someone that wants to seduce you. They want to court you. Uh, this is someone when you're being intimate with them, foreplay is very important to this person because that's almost how they, that, that's their love language. That's an extension of their love. So they don't wanna just get down to to the root, you know, to the to the nicks and crannies, like they want to take their time, they want to build, you know, that attraction. They want it to grow, you know. They want to be pregnant with pause, so to speak. So it's a an energy where someone is very intentional. Someone wants to uh, be charming, be chivalrous. Someone wants to be nurturing, be loving, um, caring, inviting. Someone wants to create that safe space. So this is a very uh, mature energy that I'm picking up because uh, I'm also uh, seeing like the eight of cups where someone's emotionally intelligent. They know how to pour in uh, to a situation. Uh, so they add value. Uh, they add that emotional uh, connectivity. This can be your energy, uh, Scorpio. So this is beautiful, what I'm picking up on. So let's see what the cards have to say. Uh, what we have playing in the playlist. Let's see what we have. So this is, who is this? So this is my girl, Sanaibo Say, and this is called I Owe You Nothing. So very powerful energy um, with this song, because this is someone that knows their worth, knows their value. That eight is also showing me like the eight of cups where you walked away, you know, perhaps from, uh, you know, those connections that were not reciprocal. Uh, maybe you were giving and giving. As I said, you're emotionally intelligent. So you know to feed, to nurture a relationship if you wanted to bloom and blossom. And perhaps you were dealing with people who were um, leaving you to feel emotionally bankrupt. They weren't, you know, really uh, reciprocating that emotional, uh, that emotional, uh, uh, energy, you know, that they, that you needed them to. Uh, so, I feel like with I owe you nothing, you realize like you could walk away from the situation, especially if it's not fulfilling you. If you're if you don't feel fulfilled, if you don't feel valued or appreciated, why would you continue to um, invest in in those type of connections? So I feel like you walked away like, OK, I don't owe the situation nothing. Uh, and you're focusing on the self because uh, that eight of cups lead you to the nine of cups, which is about self-love. You realize self-love makes you more attractive. You also realize how good it is, how good it feels to love thyself. That's an inside job. So you realize like, wow, I got to really like love me. I got work to do on me. So you, you immediately stop thinking about those other connections and you focus more on self-love, you know, uh, becoming self-disciplined, knowing your worth, knowing your value, uh, knowing what you bring to the table, learning even perhaps your love language. So you, you realize you owe nothing to anyone. You owe it to yourself though, um, to be sure to be, you know, positive that you're showing up as your authentic self. And so that's why you go on that journey to the nine of cups where you really just, you know, block everyone else out. Because if you think of the nine of cups in traditional tarot, there's a man smiling with the nine cups behind him and his arms are Cross. And that is a very defensive body language, protective body language. It, it, it displays there are boundaries set. So you may have established boundaries uh, to protect yourself. So the strength that you had to um, 
to own was to focus on loving yourself because maybe you realize like, wow, like these relationships, these connections aren't feeding me and valuing me um, the way that I really thought that it would. So maybe that was you realizing like nobody owes you anything and you owe it to yourself to focus on loving yourself because, you know, walking away, that is that is a show of self-love because you're not going to allow anyone to sell you short or to uh, treat you like an option or to discredit you, dis to, to um, you know, to to make you feel invalidated, like nobody should ever make you feel that. So I feel like that was the what led to you perhaps walking away from something, realizing you know you don't owe anyone else anything, and they don't owe you. You owe it to yourself, though. However, to you know focus on your loving yourself, and that strength that I saw initially was you purifying, you healing, because that's the star energy as well. Healing, um, learning to uh, become more emotionally uh, balanced. Um, and really setting, you know, that intention to uh, call in what you truly desire, remaining hopeful and optimistic. And, um, you know, it's, it's like what you put into a situation, you, you know that you'll get it back. So your hard work will pay off. If you plant seeds and sow in good faith, then you know that it will render a beautiful harvest. Um, and that's what you are instead channeling and moving in that energy opposed to turning into some bitter hateful scorn person to get revenge or seek revenge you, it's like no you you, you just rechannel that energy to co-creating with source to set your intention to call in and draw in what you desire because that that star is the alchemist or the magi it knows that you know uh, as you set your intention, you create it. Whatever you think you create, uh, the intention you put into it, the attention, what you speak into the ethers, into the universe, that's how you manifest. So you realize that you're the co-creator with source and that you have the ability to turn your thoughts into reality. So that's a powerful confirmation. And so what we have now is Toby Nwigwi, and this is called Ride. So I do feel like that's what led to you riding the current, riding the wave, because I was getting like a karmic situation that has occurred. And so you had to ride it out. That's what led to you like learning and growing. You know, some of you all, maybe you're looking to get a new ride. Uh, maybe some of you all need to get a checkup with your current vehicle. So we have a 27 um, spiritual partnership here. So that's beautiful because I was picking up like you are attracting your likeness. This has been coming up a lot in these videos. Um, this could be also just like this could be not just a love uh, partnership or spiritual partnership, but this can develop into like even business partnerships, um, building strong and solid uh, connections with others, uh, perhaps aligning with your soul tribe, your soul family, um, perhaps you're aligning with your cosmic companion, your soulmate. This nine is showing that there's uh, a sense of like a lot of introspective work because I'm seeing like the hermit. Uh, there's a, a lot of awareness, self-awareness uh, through taking that time to go within. You realize answers you seek are found within and you've discovered something about your connections about what you deserve this hermit is a wizard uh and so he knows the answers he seeks are found within and what you've discovered is that you are uh someone that deserves stronger bonds more meaningful bonds and that's what you are now attracting to you because you've come to that realization the nine as i was just speaking of the eight of cups um and i was saying how that self-love garners you to now, um, you know, have wish fulfillment, start having people more attracted to you because I'm seeing like, you know, the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles, where you are single, independent, but you are also someone that someone sees your value, sees your worth, sees you as someone that they can really build and, and, and cultivate, um, you know, that nucleus, that family. Uh, someone that they could build a legacy, someone that they could, you know, partner with, you know, collaborate with, uh, have a successful uh, and fulfilling uh, emotional connection or having a successful and financially rewarding uh, bond and partnership with you as well. So this spiritual partnership, I feel, also speaks to the fact that this is... Um, 
ordained it's predestined like this is a destiny type of love uh this is that person that i feel when you bump into them there will be that synergy and that chemistry you will know off the rip that this is a very uh sacred connection because there'll be too many commonalities similarities during your conversation not only will it be stimulating but you'll find that you have so much in common with this person and you may say several times I'm hearing me too you too stop playing like because it's just so many things that align between you and this person that you'll know instantly that's the one um, I see spiritual career here underneath that something told me to look underneath so I do feel as I said whoever this is it's not this won't only be like a uh, like a, a love ship uh, of a love connection, like that type of love bond. Uh, but I also feel like you'll also come into like business. You'll, you'll, you and this person will, uh, go into business together and it will be very successful. Um, it will be very affluent, whatever you and this person are doing, like it will, it will bloom and blossom because you both are, uh, are putting in the work, the effort. You both are, it's a collaborative effort because underneath that spiritual career is the financial discipline. So I feel like spirit is saying like that hard work that you and this person puts in to not only your, your connection together, your love ship together, but also your spiritual career, your spiritual business, it will absolutely garner some uh, stability. You know, this will garner a lot of success because that 12, that eight and four, or that 48 breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three. So this is someone that you will literally like, you both will like have like, you know how you are um, coming up with master plans and the terminology they used to use in corporate America uh, was we're going into the war room. And so this is literally where you would go to kind of like, you know, come up with like some really, uh, some really great tools or methodologies to initiate something, to achieve a goal. Uh, and so maybe that's what you and this person, you, you both collaborate very well. And it's going to lead to some level of stability here because I get with the three, that's the empress. So it's like you've reached that level of self-mastery. So now you know how to not only run a business because the empress and the emperor are seen as like the entrepreneurs. They're like the moguls. Um, so they turn that thought, you know, so you could be like a business owner with that spiritual career. You will become a spiritual, uh, you know, uh, like a um, business owner, like you'll have run a spiritual career. Maybe you currently do. Um, but this this partnership that you will come into with this person, it leads to a lot of success and stability because that three financial discipline is showing that it's like you're planting your seeds, you're nurturing them, you're watering them, and you're cultivating the earth like you're, you know, you're tending, you know, when you tend to something, that's what helps it grow. That's what helps it become, uh, you know, more, um, you know, more uh, susceptible to, to flourishing. So what we have here playing is Kendrick Lamar, and uh, this is called um, Crown. So you all are being crowned king or queen. You're seen as someone very like regal. And so what we have on the split is we have the uh, spiritual career and this 14 moderation. So the 14 is reduced to five. That is the hierophant. So I get a strong sense of like, you know, you learning something like for you to be operating some spiritual uh, business or to have this spiritual career show up. I feel like this is you aligning with your purpose uh, because the five is the hierophant. So that speaks to uh, tutelage. Uh, that speaks to building your knowledge. Uh, that speaks to seeking wise counsel, that's studying, that's researching, that's investigating, that's learning, more importantly. And whatever you're learning or whatever you've learned is what you are uh, going to be utilizing um, those skills to open up whatever this business is, whatever this spiritual 
uh, path you're taking. It's from whatever you've learned. I feel you've been honing your skills. That five is associated with like the throat chakra. So you've discovered uh, how to express yourself communicatively. You've recently opened up your throat chakra or unblocked your throat chakra. Maybe you were very... Um, non-confrontational is the word I heard, but maybe you were passive. Um, you just allowed people to kind of talk over you, silence you. And it's like now, um, it's like you've taken your power, you speak your truth. You've made the necessary changes uh, to heal that throat chakra. But this is also is saying like you've learned to express yourself as well uh, creatively artistically. You may have found your niche. You may have found what you are passionate about. And that is what's going to lead to the spiritual career because whatever you are honing, whatever skill you're honing, whatever uh, you're mastering, whatever you're sharpening, whatever sword you're sharpening, uh, learning, whatever that is, it's like that's what's leading to this financial fulfillment and emotional fulfillment because this pink is showing that there's emotional fulfillment here that's associated with the heart chakra. And so I feel like you also are uh, very in tune, uh, very tapped in. So you could be very intuitive, very psychic, very clairvoyant. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say, beloved. We are already 26 minutes into the reading. So we have the crown playing by Kendrick Lamar. Someone could be dealing with somebody in Kendrick or Lamar, first, middle, or last. And we have that financial discipline here. Your hard work will pay off. I feel like your hard work is absolutely going to pay off. Spirit is confirming that, you know, because that's, again, a pink and then the green. And that is also both of those colors are associated with the heart chakra. And that 48 breaks down to 12. So that is like the hangman. You are looking at things from a different perspective, a different vantage point, um, from a whole new lens. So you could be like really like fine tuning something, um, really working very uh, diligently on a particular goal. That's also saying you have a lot of people uh, coming in to uh, form an alliance with you, partner up with you. So you could be getting people um, who may want to assist you uh, on your, on your um, endeavors. And perhaps those people that are assisting you, someone may stand out in the crowd. And that connection not only is a very strong work connection or work dynamic or uh, business partnership, but it develops into a love partnership. And it's 12-12 on the clock that reduces to 3-3, three, three, which reduces to 6. So 6 is the lovers. So that is giving me like potentially like a past life love, you know, um, the lovers is overseen by an angel. And so I was getting that there was a divine connection that you were forging with someone that was uh, destined, predestined, you know, someone that is your person. And so the lovers does insinuate that you are forming uh, strong bonds. You're coming into union, sacred unions with others, um, spiritual union, spiritual partnership. Uh, so these aren't just fly by day people. These are people that are going to be here for the long, the long haul. Uh, I am getting strong, uh, like past life, past life. That's what I keep hearing. So um, that could potentially be why there's synergy and chemistry and these uh, very overwhelming feelings of I feel like I know this person, you know, it's just like, you're going to feel like, dang, I know this person. I know uh, it feels like I have known you from before. Or we've met before. And it's just going to strongly, strongly feel that. So let's tap in. So let's see what cards flew out. So we have perseverance, the number four. And look at that. That deals with the heart chakra. I was speaking of the heart chakra uh, several times. And here it is. The four is also associated with the emperor. Um, in traditional tarot. So there could be a divine masculine uh, that some of you feminines are healing from, you know, uh, your past. You had to heal your heart chakras from dealing with a masculine energy, whether it was your father's, you know, maybe you grew up, uh, you know, without a father figure. Uh, so you had to heal from a lot of those childhood wounds, you know, um, of not having that masculine energy in your life. And potentially you could have 
you've attracted a lot of, you know, people who were very flighty, uh, that weren't um, available, that wasn't reciprocal uh, with the emotional uh, um, gestures, the emotional uh, bond, you know, they could have been very distant. And so I feel like you had to heal uh, from those type of disappointments, heal from those type of uh, connections and learn to love you. Because uh, as I said earlier, like love is an inside job. So this is really you healing that self and focusing on self-love and you persevering from past hurts. So there was a lot of, you know, self-reflection um, and you've taken onus, you've taken accountability. And that's what's led to you persevering through uh, those past pains. So, you know, this is the overall energy here of what, you know, you may have experienced and what you are uh, coming out of. Because when you're persevering, that means that you are coming out of a period because there's this epiphany. That four is also the vibration of the 1111. And, you know, that 1111 is like a twin flame, you know, that's associated with the twin flame. Uh, that's a cosmic companion, a spiritual partner. So that could lead to, you know, stability. You could be coming into a very stable, very well-balanced um, connection, someone that absolutely speaks your love language. This is a solid green card. So I feel like who's coming in is someone solid. You know, the uh, emperor, it doesn't get any more solid than an emperor. Uh, that's someone that's very sure. Uh, that's a leader. They know how to lead. Uh, they're very dedicated, very devoted. Um, and they're also very paternal. Um, they are protective. You know, they know how to uh, nurture and cultivate a family. They're very uh, action oriented. So they they take action. They don't they don't play. Um, so this is a beautiful energy of just, you know, standing bold. This is self-determination. All of those, uh, you know, characteristics that you were, uh, you know, honing in on, you know, learning how to to. Uh, channel. So it's, uh, the person you're attracting to you, we got 14 moderation and we did see that on the split a couple of times. So this is someone that is learning. Um, and we have nine here and remember we did, um, you know, we did speak to the hermit. So that hermit does, you know, take that time to go within. So there is a sense of like there being distance, but there is love. I feel there's mutual love. You know, and I feel like, you know, someone is learning to love themselves also, um, you know, assessing, assessing only themselves, but assessing perhaps things that may have occurred in the past to learn from it, to gain awareness. But this person here that you're attracting to you or what you're attracting to you is change. You know, things are going to be changing for the better. Nine is the highest number and vibration of change. So something is in incubation status and it's about to be birthed. This could be uh, you taking action to uh, really you will work on your endeavors because the nine is giving me like the nine of pentacles. Like you are uh, very, very independent, very self-sufficient. Um very secure financially, like your hard work has paid off. Um, I feel like someone is also making some changes as well within themselves. Um, they're learning. Perhaps they could be learning from you or they're just learning as well. They are going through a period of um, like in, 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 in doing introspective work, doing a lot of reflecting, self-analysis, and this is going to lead to them also making some sort of change. This could even be uh, communicating, expressing something, because that 14 reduces the five that deals with the throat chakra. Uh, maybe there will be communication and it will change a situation. Maybe this is what someone is hoping for, is, um, you know, maybe initiating some sort of a conversation with you. How they feel about you is 71 health. So they are very stressed, anxious. Um, that eight gives me like the eight of swords. Uh, they also could be seeing this as a situation that is stressing them out because, you know, when I think of this eight and this five, that's 13 and that is death, you know, so how they feel about you and their energy, which are who you're attracting to you, this reduces to, uh, 13, which is the death card. So I feel their fear is that something, um, 
that something is, they need to end something, whether this is whether this is their own hesitation or maybe this could be their fears that you will be guarded because their fear is eight and eight is action. That's a number I'm seeing the eight of wands. Eight is taking action. The eight, remember I was speaking to the star, but this says health. So I feel like how they feel is they're stressing because I get the eight of swords with this energy as well. So it's like they see you as a star, they want to take action, but they can't get out of their head. They're ruminating, they're pining, or maybe they're like overthinking a situation. What's hidden is 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. So whoever this is you're attracting to you is a cosmic companion. This is that same person in this 14 energy because 7-7 seven seven reduces to 14. So this is a spiritual bond, a spiritual connection. Double numbers always makes me feel like you're attracting someone that is your divine counterpart. This is a like mind. It doesn't get any more like than the same number. So you and this person are mirroring one another. And this says spirituality. So there is a sacred bond. I was speaking to there being a lot of, um, you know, a lot of feeling of like chemistry and synergy. And that's really showing me that you and this person have a lot. Uh, in common, but you also have grown a lot uh, through your personal experiences. You've grown a lot um, in your life, and that's why you have this perseverance. It's led to you healing, uh, and you can only heal if you take accountability, if you take onus. I feel there is uh, communication that will uh, eventually, it will you will receive a call, but right now I feel someone communicates perhaps telepathically or intuitively. Someone could definitely be having heavy dream activity. We have four, five, that's nine, nine, eight, eight and seven, that's 15, that's six. So this is like someone communicates to you intuitively and you may know that. You may sense that. I feel spirit is also telling you trust your own intuition, your own gumption. But there is, is, is a sense of like, Someone's gaining spiritual strength as well. Like your psychic powers, your intuitive powers could be amplifying. Maybe you're starting to pick up on other, uh, you know, other uh, skills. Like you may start realizing like, dang, you're, you could scry, you know, like you could scry coffee, you could scry tea leaves, you could scry water. You could scry clouds, you could scry smoke, like you you could scry, you could scry candle wax. Like your skills are amplifying. There's like you're elevating in whatever it is you do. Because this is like, you know, still that five, the hierophant. Maybe some of you are doing meditations or studying on how to boost your psychic powers. Maybe you're listening to binaural sounds and beats. Um like, you know, that is um, activating those those abilities. So let's see what we have. Let me get one more card for the outcome for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Let me get a message for my beautiful Scorpios. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And we have SOS being just be good to me. So the outcome is like you just want somebody that's going to be good to you. We had a clear audience message of so good for Scorpio. So there's a lot of messages that's, that came out. I'm only taking what is in the upright. Everything else will go back into the Zedek. So all of these are upright. These are face down and see what's on the bottom. So we got 88 abundance, another double number. So this is 777 because six, uh, 18 breaks down to 16. That's seven. One is six is seven. So seven, 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 expect a wish fulfillment. You have a miracle. You have some sort of luck, a stroke of luck. And this isn't just a stroke. This is everything to do with like the seeds that you've sowed. You're attracting someone that is absolutely or something that is coming in abundantly. Uh, this is bringing emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. This is like infinite supply. This is also like your just due. You're getting your just due. This is something that you have earned, something that 
you have manifested as that star. This could be you manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment. So what you have for your outcome is you have five change. And I did say that there was something changing. There was definitely a change, a shift. Perhaps someone is making a change. I'm hearing Michael Jackson make that change. Men in the mirror. I'm hearing that loud. And we have 66 healing, another double number. So I feel there will be, you know, after this, this, this healing takes place, you know, after, you know, there's, um, you know, that, that uh, epiphany or that aha, someone will communicate, you know, we got teaching and learning. So I was feeling like there was someone uh, in a studious energy and we got nine completion. So this is like cutting karmic cords, walking away. That's the end. This is the highest number and vibration of change. So there is a change, a brewing and a coming. And it's because you've made that change. Make that change. So you've made a change by healing thyself. That five and that three is eight. That eight and that three is 11. That two and that nine is 11. So you're getting your just due. 11 is associated with the justice card. So justice, you're getting your just due and you're attracting someone that is your divine counterpart, a very spiritual connection, spiritual partnership. This will be not only, um, like I said, a love partnership, but also like a business partnership. Like you will go into spiritual um, practice with this person. Like, you know, they could become your spiritual, your like your business partner in addition to your love partner. This is dope. All right. So let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages. And with that 88 there, there's like a, a plethora of love, of happiness. There's a plethora. Like you have a plethora. You have a lot, a lot of success, a lot of financial um, and emotional fulfillment. So let's tap in. Let's see what these cards have to say, beloveds. Get some messages from the psychic tarot. So look at that. We got spiritual strength here on the bottom of the deck. And I literally just said that for the completion because this gives me like the nine, the hermit. Hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he seeks are found within. That's what's leading to the spiritual strength by healing himself, like going within. You can see he's wearing like this, this, um, this gown as if he's just graduated. And remember, we just, we had Kendrick Lamar playing, uh, uh, crown. So this is someone who's about to be, pardon me, someone who's about to be crowned king or queen because they're spiritually stronger. They've wrapped up karmic, ses karmic lessons and cycles. And so this nine highest vibration and number of changes, them stepping out to affect the change that they just, you know, that they just uh, pondered on, you know, that's going within, that's seeking wise counsel from within. That's beautiful. And that's what's led to, you know, you persevering, you know, healing, growing, healing from the past pains with just be good to me. Like you're not dealing with anyone, you know, unless it's good for you, sits right for you. Look at this wisdom, wise dome. So there was a family dynamic that taught you valuable lessons. Because remember, we have the 14 moderation. This is the person you're attracting or what you're attracting to you. See how he's looking back to that family. So someone could have learned some lessons through dealing with this family, through dealing with family uh, traumas. I was picking up on someone who grew up potentially without a father figure and could have attracted a lot of, you know, flighty individuals, people that weren't invested. And this has taught you to make the necessary moderations, the moderations, which are the changes to make those changes. These are all fives that's what's led to your wise dome that's learning see how he's carrying this book it's like these are lessons so it's like you studied your lessons and now you can do the knowledge and that's what's led to your wise dome you've wisened up you're trusting your intuition you've gained those epiphanies you've learned from you know those obstacles whoever you're attracting what you're attracting to you has learned you know through these family dynamics through these work dynamics through those connections, you know, that's what's led to spiritual strength. So spiritual strength just jumped out. So I'm going to take this card along with the other two, though they chose themselves literally. And so what we have here is sacral uh, chakra on the bottom of the deck. So 
Let's go ahead. So triumph flew out. So that's the uh, seven. This is the chariot. That's clarifying the 14 for the person you're attracting. And then we have one passion ignited for how they feel about you. This is clarifying how they feel about you. Uh, so this is very powerful. Let me expound more and then we will get our other messages. So for the 14, I'm sorry, for the four perseverance, spiritual strength flew out. So you persevered through the pain the hurt, the disappointments, because this four is like you rejuvenating your spirit, recovering, recuperating, um, but also reflecting, you know, and through your reflection, uh, you could take onus and accountability for what may have occurred. This is speaking to you healing yourself and, and really uh, becoming more emotionally intelligent, um, learning to love yourself, this nine, the hermit, that's how you were able to persevere by taking the necessary time to go within, to seek wise counsel from within, to connect to your higher self, to your Christ consciousness from within. This is your energy of, you know, building uh, your spiritual strength and gaining, um, you know, a deeper, more profound understanding of you. Also becoming a healer because every great healer has to first heal themselves. And that's how you've been able to persevere through certain difficulties or certain obstacles. What we see now is for who you're attracting to you or what you're attracting to you. We have the 14, five and the triumph uh, card seven, which is the chariot. So someone's making changes. These changes are leading to them feeling more assertive, more confident. So it's like they're it's like they're moving past some sort of, um, you know, faulty belief system or ideology, you know, because that five is giving me like the five of swords. Maybe they're moving away uh, from some sort of conflict or some sort of uh, competitive energy. This makes more sense when I see it like that. So it's like this is someone that's finally, you know, realizing that there's work that they have to do. Someone was not communicating their truth or there was some miscommunication or a missed opportunity because of someone not opening their throat chakra. And now it's like, you know, maybe someone has really worked on themselves, on their confidence. Uh, maybe they're pushing past that fear of you being guarded. Um, they're waving the red flag uh, so I do feel like maybe this is someone in the past who ignored red flags, or maybe this is someone that you may see or deem as a red flag, or maybe this is someone that spirit um, is telling you could have possibly learned from you. Because if you look here, we have, um, this is 57 and 57, because um, you got the 5, 14 reduces to 5, and then you got the 7. This is the teaching and learning. So someone has learned, because uh, the 5, the, this, the moderation is learning. You're making changes based off what you've learned. The triumph is showing that, you know, you've taken time to meditate, to get something straight, to find balance, to find equilibrium. Uh, the chariot is usually depicted with two horses, but this card, it only shows one horse. So I feel like this is only showing one half of a divine connection. Uh, and someone had to find their own balance. They had to also uh, not be as guarded or come off as blocked uh, because that was, uh, you know, perhaps caused Causing someone to have some fears, you know, with the 71 health, have some fears associated with taking action, with coming toward you. Uh, they were stressing. Um, and it's like because they see you, you know, powering ahead on your own, you know, coming off very independent, self-sufficient. This could be, you know, something that makes this person feel um, almost intimidated. But it's like they've learned something from you here because this 50, this 57, that five, this seven here, that's the same energy as this. So with teaching and learning, you didn't realize you were teaching other people that were watching you and they're watching you triumphantly conquer, you know, your fears, triumphantly achieve your goals, 
um, you know, but you are also coming off very, you know, guarded, like you don't, you don't, you're, you're in a rush, you know, um, you don't have time, you know, you're not making time. So someone is perhaps trying to figure out how uh, to not come off um, so difficult, you know, maybe they're learning, you know, how to express their truth or how to emote, you know, what, how they feel about you. We have passion here ignited along with the 71. So this is someone that does feel a lot of passion for you. And this is what causes stress and anxiety because I get a sense of them like doing a lot of like they come, they're, they're confusing their own energy, you know, because they make up a lot of scenarios I feel in their own mind about what they think is going to happen, what they think is going to be said. This is someone that feels very deeply, very attracted to you. Someone who feels love, like their heart is wide open. This could even be them seeing you as someone um, who's living your dreams, who's following, you know, your dreams and, and who has um, embarked on some brand new endeavor. Like they see you as someone who's, um, you know, uh, very passionate, very uh, intense. Um, this is someone that also has strong attraction towards you. I'm hearing fire and desire. Uh, someone that really, really could be trying to muster up, you know, the courage to come towards you. With the Sacra Chakra, I do feel like this is uh, someone that wants to perhaps, um, you know, be bold. They want to be bold. They want to be risky or daring. We have the Prodigy out of space. So I am getting a sense of like maybe this person, um, you know, there may be distance. Maybe they feel emotional disconnected or like maybe they feel like this distance with out of space i just get a sense of like there there being a lot of space a lot of distance with this connection and they want to bridge that gap like a seven seven fourteen that's five communication can always clear the air or communication can always make things right so you got another card that hopped out on its own so we got love begins here this came out, this flew out. So we got love begins and we have power here. So someone will take their power. They're gonna be brave. They're gonna take charge. They're gonna muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come towards you. Because we got the eight here. So that eight is, you know, that energy of the strength card that I was picking up. So this power, someone does take their power back or someone does muster up the strength because what's hidden is you have 77 spirituality and love begins so i do get a sense of like you know before you can attract love you have to first radiate love and you radiate love by first healing yourself from anything from your past any traumas any uh past life uh traumas that you may have experienced that this is first about healing you love gotta begin it has to begin within and then you can pour into others. And that's exactly what's happening with the spirituality. You're attracting a spiritual connection with someone. And this is someone your angels and your guides have selected for you. Uh, this is a blessing from the divine. This is um, like that miracle or that wish fulfillment. And it's because you've healed that self. With this power, I do get a sense of someone kind of mustering up the strength. Uh, this is that same person that's been working on um, learning how to affect some sort of change or how to take initiative, how to take action. They're also healing. So I get a strong sense of like, you know, they're, they're healing, they're growing. This could be absolutely someone that, um, this connection develops from business partnership you know, to love partnership or love partnership to business partnership. And we have um, Shane Yor, and this is called, um, what is this called? Um, dying Breed. So they feel you're rare, like I said, like a rare find, you're regal, you're royal, you're different. They feel a lot of passion when it comes to you. Like this is someone very passionate about you. So let's see, what is the outcome? Why is this five change? Healing, teaching, and learning, and completion here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is the change? Healing, teaching, and learning here. 
What did I say about somebody up in their head stressing? I was getting that eight of swords energy, ruminating, pining, overthinking. And we got third eye chakra, trust your intuition. That's what someone will eventually do. Like they're going to get out of their head and they're just going to trust how they feel. They're going to use discernment or trust that gumption, that intuition. So someone is, you know, really conflicted here. This is someone who's like up in their head in two minds even with this six. And that, yep, they cut themselves free from whatever that confusion is. This ace of swords brings clarity. It makes everything illuminous. And that six and that one, that seven, that's the crown chakra. So someone's going to get some sort of divine download, divine intervention, transmission. Spirit is going to communicate something or make something very crystal clear, especially with this six and this one. It's giving me the eight of swords. So that six and that one, the first eye, you know, so that's really your intuition. That's also using discernment. And, you know, with this ace of swords here, that just speaks to you being super, super amplified with your psychic powers and abilities. You're going to see through something, see beyond uh, the veil or see um, past some sort of illusion. You'll cut yourself uh, free from some sort of attachments as well. Um, this is Archangel Mikael's uh, wielding, you know, this ace of swords along with Baba Ogun. To cut you free from karmic cords, hexes, yoke spells. This is also psychic attacks, perhaps. You know, spiritual attacks. That could be mindsets. So that conflict, that mental conflict that someone is currently experiencing, they will gain, um, you know, um, some illumination. They will still be able to uh, get some clarity on a circumstance. So let's tap in. So let's get some messages from spellcasters. Haven't used this in a while. So look what we got here. Okay. So we have the six of cups. So this could be, you know, like some something or someone from your past. I was picking up like a past life love. So the six of cups is here. You can see them, uh, you know, kind of like having some sort of nostalgic moment. Um, and this is them el as elders, you know. So they're, they're kind of like going back to their favorite spot. So that's why I was getting like a past life love. Because you can see these two here. Um, they're younger, you know. So this could definitely uh, be indicating to some sort of like divine connection. And there goes that three of pentacles I was picking up with that uh, that three financial discipline earlier. So this is someone that, like I said, it, it goes from just this love connection and it develops into something rooted in like building some sort of wealth together. You know, building some sort of business. Because you can see they're learning here. But they're both investing. You see how they're both, like, they're both investing into this. They're both, like, nurturing it. They both have their hands on the soil. So it's like they're nurturing. Even here, you know, they're invested emotionally. They both are putting a cup in. And then you see here, they're both, like, tending to the earth. That's beautiful. So this is building wealth. This is building security, stability, building a legacy. And this is that energy of like a past life love. I can't make this up. And we have strawberry letter. So someone may be, and it says Brothers Johnson. So someone could be dealing with uh, someone named Johnson. But with strawberry letter, I get a sense of someone potentially writing um a letter sending a message and there goes the star i mentioned the star someone sees you as a star someone also sees you in the spotlight you could be receiving rewards blessings you're co-creating with source you can see here he's pouring water into you know the ocean onto land and into the ocean so that's like utilizing that power that spirit provides to co-create to manifest, to set intention. Receiving those divine downloads as above, so below. And this is also getting me a sense of like, you know, manifesting this type of love ship, manifesting this type of bond, 
this type of spiritual connection. This is beautiful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios. Why is this for perseverance here? Clarified by the spiritual strength card for the overall energy. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So strawberry letter. Somebody could be writing a confession letter. I'm hearing a love letter. Somebody could be like expressing themselves, being honest. There goes that four, that deep introspection. There goes the strength. There goes the four of cups. That's what I was saying. Persevere and meditating to get things straight. Reflecting, grounding oneself. This is seeking wise counsel from within. This is a very powerful energy and that strength card. So this is like literally like braving your light, owning your power. This is also about change, affecting change, taking control of your own subconscious thoughts, cutting yourself free from what no longer serves you. She's holding like a dagger. I was trying to find it for you so you could see it. Okay, well, if I see it again, I'll show you. So let's cut the deck, my bad. Let me just shuffle it one more time because I don't like how I just disturb the cards. <laughs> and we got a seven of wands, a uh, seven of swords here. So be mindful because I was picking up, you know, like that energy of someone, um, you know, being sneaky and he's kind of sneaking off. You know, he's sneaking off and... This is like, you know, someone that you've been very loyal to. There goes that Eight of Swords right there. Wow. All the cards I mentioned are coming out. This is the Eight of Swords. Being stubborn, being bullheaded, seeing things one way, you know, not having even, um, not being clear, you know, not having clarity. Because that's why this mental conflict is here. So let's cut the deck again. Not right. So let's clarify these messages. Why is perseverance and spiritual strength here for the overall energy? I cut my deck three times, three different directions, just to ensure to get a good message. Bottom of the deck, star. Can't make this up. Shuffled it to the star. So you've persevered. Someone sees you as the star of the story. This could be someone who's definitely like obsessed over you. Like, look how he's just kind of hovering over these pentacles. The fourth pentacles is usually like someone that's, um, you know, still holding on to a connection. Maybe they see you or perceive you as holding back. But you see the star, you've healed from things, things from your past, emotional disappointments. You've healed from that. You've persevered from a lot of, you know, trauma, whether childhood, um, a lot of toxicity. You've learned that you are the alchemist, that you can change your reality. You've always remained optimistic about your future, very hopeful about what you wanted. And you knew that you could set your intention. You spoke into the ethers, whatever you wanted to manifest, and you're seeing things materialize. I feel like you have daily mantras or you may speak positive affirmations. Uh, you may meditate. Um, you connect, you know, perhaps at oceans, bodies of waters. You like to go and sit at a park with a big pond or, you know, you like the sound of running water. You may go to rest at night to the sound of rain and thunder. Um, you may listen to, you know, those type of binaural sounds or those meditative sounds whilst you rest. Um, I feel like when you are in water, you feel a sense of, um, you feel a sense of connectivity, but it also cleanses your energy. So taking spiritual baths is probably, uh, you know, something spirit is telling you to do uh, because that does, you know, get rid of any attachments. But you are a wish fulfillment. You're manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment based off of the healing that you've done. Uh, you are getting a mirror, you know, an answer to your prayer. You are receiving a miracle or a blessing or some sort of wish fulfillment because you've persevered through something, because you've healed. You've genuinely healed. You're solid. Uh, and so that four is also saying that you have potentially like a, a divine counterpart uh, that you could be manifesting into this physical reality because that four is, uh, you know, the emperor and the star is here. So someone does see you as a star. I did say someone saw you as a star because we opened up the reading with that number eight. 
Uh, so I was getting a sense of like, you know, you're getting some sort of uh, blessing from the divine, from the heavens. Um, so let's continue. So with this four of pentacles, someone could have been very stubborn, very money hungry as well. Uh, very money motivated, uh, not very emotional or grounded. You can see like, you know, he's just hovering. It almost looks like a spider. And when, you know, spiders are very protective of their, uh, of their, um, webs, uh, and if you fall, happen to fall into their web, it's a Rizzy wrap. So this is someone that could have been like, like very just kind of selfish or money motivated. Like they didn't really put too much emphasis on emotional connections. It was all about money. So they could have been workaholics or something to that degree. Maybe they had to change that. Um, with that 14, that five, um, I'm getting a sense of like, even perhaps someone who, uh, wasn't really expressing themselves, you know, wasn't really expressing their needs, uh, but they triumphantly move away because uh, they do see a red flag. You know, that could be because they're learning from you, as I said before. Uh, this could have also been some sort of karmic lesson because this four and the seven is reduced to 11. So they could have absolutely uh, went through a karmic lesson. That's why they had to make some sort of moderation changes. Maybe they came to the realization that they needed more uh, emotion um, tied into their connections into their bonds opposed to just uh all about money or all about material wealth all about you know what you have and not really the emotions because this puts things into perspective this 14 is like you know that green is showing this there's you know the heart is a factor the heart is um something that this person is is tapping into is opening up and this is no longer their energy. So they're learning uh, to get out of this energy and they will do so triumphantly. They will assert themselves. They will find that balance. Uh, this seven, this four, that's 11, that's two. Two and five is seven. So they do move away. Um, they do move, you know, mom, they do power ahead uh triumphantly this is beautiful so i do love that so why is this 14 and triumphant here for the person or what you're attracting to you my scorpios let me get a message for my beloved Ooh, two messages and we still got the fourth pentacles on the bottom of the deck so this it's like almost like you know they're, they're trying oh and remember i said i wanted to show you strength card see how she's holding this dagger or this knife that's what cuts you free from those faulty belief systems habits that's also you know um the clarity because remember we saw that ace of swords but look what you have the fool card so this is taking leaps of faith this is you know being bold being daring knowing that when you take that leap of faith your angels your ancestors will catch you um this is showing courage you know you're you're here for whatever this person is ready to have some sort of fresh start um it's like they're on that they're having some sort of new beginning because they're moving away from a situation uh, that wasn't serving their highest good, that caused a lot of imbalance. Maybe they were finding that they were imbalanced. They had a lot of people, I feel, that influenced their opinions, their actions, um, even the way that they communicated, even what they said. We got Guy, piece of my love here. So this is someone that does want a piece of your love. Um, this is also someone that could be a masculine and this could be a feminine who is absolutely dealing with a guy that uh, needed to make or is making some moderations um, and they will be powering ahead, pardon me, you know, courageously to uh, express something or to have this new start. Maybe this is just that past life love that's coming in, uh, you know, fresh out of uh, some sort of karmic cycle some sort of dismal circumstance, and they are, you know, very happily ready for a new beginning. And they are um, definitely in their power, in their uh, boldness, coming out of, you know, really dark periods. All these mountains denote the peaks and valleys, the ebbs and flows of life, but it's only made them stronger. It's only made them wiser. Um, it's led to a sense of uh, wise dome. You know, this blue 
is uh, associated with the throat chakra. And the throat chakra is about your expression, self-expression, whether communicatively or even artistically or creatively. So someone is learning to express themselves, learning to emote, learning to uh, speak their truth or learning to be risky, be daring, to take a leap of faith, to be more spontaneous, um, to move confidently, you know, to assert themselves, to be bold, you know, that, that <clears throat> my throat is getting blocked. <clears throat> so this is someone that also has difficulty expressing themselves, expressing their truth. So let's tap in. So with this four pentacles, they can also see you as, um, someone who's, um, perhaps holding back as well. Because uh, we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And we have 71 health. And then we have this passion ignited. Someone could be like obsessively thinking about you. Uh, someone could also be self-pleasing. Uh, you know, self-pleasure is what I'm hearing with peace of my love. This is someone that could be thinking about giving you a piece of their love. And, you know, they like in their, you know, handling business, you know, pun intended, um, handling <laughs> So this is that energy uh, with passion ignited. Like, yeah, you know, they, they definitely uh, reach the climax I'm getting. But with this four of pentacles, I'm also getting a sense of like uh, someone really like holding on, like really holding on to something. So what is the 71 uh, health and the one passion ignited here? Why is this here for how this person, Scorpios are attracting to them or what they're attracting feels about them? Let me get a message of peace. Power and protection. Why 71 health here? Thank you, spirit. And we have the hermit. So I spoke of the hermit, and you see that this is reflecting. He's looking at a light, and light is always luminous. And if you look here, that flame that he's looking into is the same flame here. So there is this, you know, introspection or this reflection. There's like something that is imploding within, you know, it's like whatever's been suppressed, whatever emotions have been lying dormant, it's like it's now coming to the surface. We have the three of pentacles. So this is that connection where I was speaking to, I showed you this card in the split earlier. And it's you could see here that this is a very divine connection. This person here looks like a very wise soul. And he is teaching. He's teaching these two people, teaching and learning. So this could be your angels um, that were teaching you both you know, these karmic lessons, because this is teaching and learning here. And you both are going to, you're like, you're coming in to um, a business partnership, but this will develop into a love partnership. This is building that alliance. This is building that nucleus. This is collaborating. And you're learning, you're studying. This was the spiritual strength card I was picking up on. So whatever you're learning, whatever your, uh, you know, whatever skill sets you are honing, it's going to lead to success. It's going to lead to plent, plenty. It's going to lead to prosperity. This is powerful. So this is clarifying. So this is that person that wants to build an alliance, a nucleus partner up. This is definitely someone very passionate about you, but also you will find that your journeys are aligning on many levels. There's parallels. And this is, you know, something that uh, may cause anxiety, stress, or worry. Maybe there's a lot of, um, maybe someone is really, you know, mustering up the strength to, to, uh, to perhaps, you know, because I'm getting with this three and one, that's four, four and eight, that's 12. So this is someone that is seeing this connection in a different light. Like they're seeing something in a different perspective because this all reduces to 12 for how they feel about you. So they're like seeing you in a whole new light, seeing your worth, seeing, seeing things from a different vantage point. They also see you as someone who's reached the level of self-mastery because that 12 breaks, breaks down to three. So that's Empress. This is someone that feels attracted, drawn, intrigued, mesmerized. They see you in your power. They see you as wise. And with this hermit here on the bottom of the deck, this is someone that's, you know, gaining that epiphany or observing 
you know, at a distance, someone that's kind of in isolation right now, secluded right now, because they're doing more internal work. If you look here, there's like a hourglass on the side. And so that speaks to like divine timing, this hourglass. Let me see if I can. Dang, it's not showing. But he has like an hourglass, what appears to be an hourglass. And so that means divine timing. This nine that this hermit is, that's that energy of, you know, deep introspection, gaining self-awareness. And when you gain that self-awareness, then you take action. So we have, um, I could have loved you. So someone could be, you know, perhaps uh, really feeling nostalgic, as I said. Uh, maybe this is someone, you know, perhaps because this five and this one reduces to six. It could be, as I said, a past life love, you know, that that is now like envisioning. Remember, we saw the six of cups. It was like an older couple couple sitting on a bench looking at this young children playing. Um, that could be seen as you and your husband, your beloved, looking at your children that you, um, you know, that you birthed because they see you as a divine feminine. You know, these all break down to three, this 12. So they see you as wifey material. They see you as hubby material. They see you as their divine masculine, um, someone that they could build with, grow with, nurture, um, you know, build that legacy, that family with. With I could have loved you, maybe that's someone uh, that's kind of like visualizing their future with you or visualizing something. Um, or that could just be a depiction of what I said initially, where you're sitting on the bench and you are going to your favorite park uh, and you're just reminiscing on. Let me see if I can find it because I want to show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. You know, and you're just kind of reminiscing and looking back in awareness of. You know how far you've come, you know, the connection, the bond that you two share and the fact that you two were still together, you know, because you went from childhood sweethearts to elders, you know, so you could be still visiting that same bench park where you both had your first date. Very nostalgic energy I was picking up on. So let me see where is this card? It must be at the very beginning. So here it is. So this is the card I'm referring to. So this could be seen in several ways. This could be seen as, you know, a husband and wife watching their children play, or it could be seen as this is them looking back, you know, or just kind of reliving that moment when they used to hang out together, play together. Uh, because if you look closely, this little boy is wearing the same outfit. This young woman, uh, this older woman is wearing the same outfit as this younger woman. So it's just like, it could be seen in, in, in however you perceive it is how it there's no wrong answer with this. So I get a sense of both. I get a sense of like, you know, this not only being someone like visualizing, having a future, building that happy house, happy spouse, that family, that nucleus, that bond with you, growing a family, growing a legacy, uh, generational wealth, generational, um, you know, love. It's like, this could also just be two people who are still together, this spiritual union, spiritual bond, and they still go to that favorite park and they still, you know, reminisce on the love, you know, that they still have, uh, cause this is what we're about to clarify is the seven, seven spirituality along with the love begins. So you could be coming into a partnership where you will have this family, you know, you may have children, a son, and a daughter, or you may, you know, have a son and a daughter with this special person that comes into your life, because this is what's hidden. And we have um, Q-tip, and this is called Find a Way. So this person is finding a way to you. I feel like spirit is absolutely um, finding a way to bring this love in as well, because I feel like you deserve it. Uh, so why is the 77, and this love begins here for my beautiful beautiful Scorpios for what's hidden. And we've got a page of swords. So this is that energy of you being watched. And this sword is huge. So someone has a lot they want to get off their chest. And remember, we got the 77 spirituality. So that breaks down to 14, which breaks down to five. That's the throat chakra. Someone really wants to say something. Someone is trying to find a way, as I said, to muster up perhaps this, the strength, the courage, because we got Q-tip here singing, find a way. So they're really trying to find a way to express themselves. This is someone watching you, 
you know, this is someone that really um, is intrigued because I see this big smile on this person's face. So the hermit flew out. So this is that person that's been kind of like, you know, trying to strategize the best plan, the best course of action. Uh, this is someone that has, you know, gained that epiphany that they have this fire, this desire. This is a wise soul. So this is someone that has been working on themselves. This is that person that has learned you know, from the past, they've learned perhaps even from watching you, because remember we had teaching and learning and the hermit, I always liken to a wizard, you know, so this is that person that's very wise. They know the answers they seek are found within. So that could be the reason why the spirituality, because this is really like receiving divine interventions, downloads, tapping and tuning in to Christ consciousness, to that God frequency, connecting to your higher self, seeking wise counsel from going within you know, those are the communications, the divine interventions that someone is having. Maybe there's a lot of um, synchronicities, but this is absolutely like uh, also someone realizing that this fire, this passion, this desire, you know, something that they may have been kind of uh, running from, hiding from, they're realizing it's real or someone's realizing these feelings are real. Someone that's really... Um, doing their due diligence to work on themselves will be coming towards you. This is also what has, you know, they've, they've healed, you know, because you've taken the time to heal. This is what's made you wiser. This is what's made you more attractive. And we have May's golden time of day. And the golden time of day could be either, uh, it could be either like early in the a.m. when the sun is rising, or it could be, you know, in the evening when the sun is setting. Wait, what happened? Something just happened. Oh, okay, there it is. May's golden time of day. So this person may see you as like their new beginning. They may see you as someone uh, that brings love, that brings happiness, that brings joy. Uh, maybe the golden time of day, uh, that's like the sun rising, as I said, or the sun is setting. But the sun is a luminous. So someone is getting you know out of their head. Someone will eventually uh, gain some sort of clarity because this sword is super large. Maybe they will cut themselves free from those thoughts, you know, those belief systems, ideologies that have them feeling very conflicted, very stuck, very confused even. So why is this uh, five change, 66 healing, 57 teaching and learning, nine completion and the mental conflict card here for, the per, uh, for what the outcome will be? And I see the Queen of Pentacles here. So this Queen of Pentacles, this could be, and there goes the Hangman. I'm speaking to the Hangman as well for the uh, energy of the person with that five and that seven. That's 12. So this is that uh, energy of this person. They were feeling very bound, very stuck. And spirit places you in a sacrificial position so that you are, you're, it's like you're forced to see things from a different perspective or from someone else's vantage point. Someone could have been very stubborn, very bullheaded, because even on the strength card, um, not the strength card, there was a, the eight of swords card. There it is. Look at that. So these cards flew upright. So these are your messages. Look at that. I can't make this up. I'm about to put this back in there, not realizing these are the cards that flew out. So as I'm speaking of the eight of swords, which this is, is this the eight of swords or the eight of wands? Yep. The eight of swords. So I was speaking of the bullhead. See that? That's the stubbornness. And this is that same eight, the health. So someone's stubbornness, someone's bullheadedness is what led to perhaps some disagreements, some separation, or led to um, disappointments in their past. You know, it's also led to explosive arguments. But this is someone like agonizing, stressing, overthinking, ruminating, pining, analysis, paralysis. This is that type of energy stuck into minds. And that's what this person may have had to learn is to uh, not judge you, not judge a situation because this is someone forced here. You see how they're bound? It's like spirit has forced them here so that they can look at things from a different scope because this energy is what's coming up for the person you're attracting to you. That 57 breaks down to 12. 12 is, as we see here, the hanged man. So that's what this person is going through. They had to learn something. And there goes the hierophant right underneath this. I can't make this up. 
So they had to learn something. Spirit put them in a sacrificial position. And that's why they're feeling now ready to have some sort of triumphant start because they're starting over to get back to ground zero. They're getting back to the self, you know, to the spiritual self, to this, you know, being trekking on a new spiritual journey voyage and doing so courageously, boldly, you know, making the necessary changes. You see the snake here. So, you know, there could have been, you know, a lot of changes and transformations. The snake sheds their skin. So that could be also like, you know, shedding faulty belief systems, as I said, or people, you know, people that were causing conflict, people that were in competition or people that was just causing a lot of confusion. Because uh, I get the five of wands where everybody's just chiming in, has an opinion, and you're listening to that. That can confuse you. And so someone suffered, you know, greatly listening to other people. The Hierophant is here. I mentioned that. So you see how these two are bowing to this master teacher and he has this whip. So it's like someone got whipped back into shape. They got also punished, karmic. You know, this is like karmic. Uh, I see this all seeing eye there. I do get a sense of like justice. I get a sense of like, you know, Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. She sees everything. And so... That's why this energy of like someone feeling mentally conflicted is because of their bullheadedness. It's because of their um, stubbornness, perhaps. But they make that change. They heal. And it's because they learn from someone. It's like they've learned from someone. And that's what's leading to completing some sort of vicious karmic cycle. I hear vicious. So it's been something that's just been repeated. Someone could have been stuck with a very selfish person. You see how she just holding on to the pentacle. This was giving me like that energy of that same person, that, that four pentacles, you know, just very money motivated. Look how discontent and bored she looks. It's like, you can have all the money in the world, but if you lack love, if you lack, you know, support, if you lack, you know, those more um, important things in life, it can make you, 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 you won't feel fulfilled. And I feel like that's that's what someone was dealing with was like the lack of fulfillment. It's like they had all this money, but it's just like they still didn't feel fulfilled. And this is what that person that you are attracting, I feel, was going through because, you know, that was that energy of that four pentacles where he was like looking like a spider hovering over those pentacles. And it was like, you know, that could have been someone who was really um money motivated, someone who was like, you know, a workaholic. And we have, um, who is this playing? The Isley Brothers make, and it says, make me say it again, girl. The Isley Brothers. So someone could have definitely um, been named Isley. And this is another brother reference. So this could be a masculine. So what flew out is we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are absolutely turning around in your favor. There's some things, some shifts, some pivots taking place. I feel like, you know, whatever was blocked or delayed, you know, I feel like someone does move out of that, you know, because we have this wheel and that spirit, you know, turning things around. So I feel like as you work on yourself and heal that self, then you, you will have a, a positive outcome. But that hanged man is also here showing, um, you know, that this is because, you know, that 12 and this 12 teaching and learning spirit is teaching, you know, spirit is teaching someone to see something differently, to see things from a different perspective, from not just their own limited belief uh, system or vantage point. So this is also, what did I say about the five of wands? So when you got this type of energy, someone is now seeing clearly like whoever they was rolling with whoever they were confiding in they was causing a lot of confusion some of these people were doing this intentionally like they were like instigating a lot of the confusion you know maybe this is self sabotage because that's what the 8 of swords is as, as well the the 8 of swords represents self sabotage you know that's why that bull is there being bullheaded being stubborn being thick-headed you know refusing to surrender the need to control, you know, not paying attention to the red flags. But this wheel of fortune is very beautiful because it shows coming out of that phase, out of that stage and onto stability. So the blocks, the blocks and the delays are um, 
her being removed and with the Izzy brothers, make me say it again, girl. So maybe someone wants to uh, come back and apologize. Maybe you asked someone. And I keep hearing past life love. I don't know why I keep hearing that for these past couple of readings. I want to get some more messages to clarify, clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. But this could be someone from your past. Uh, maybe you ask them to tell you you that they love you. Maybe this is what occurred in a in a past life situation where someone refused to emote, someone refused to be vulnerable, someone refused to show how much they care. And now it's like they're hoping that you that you ask them, you know, because the throat chakra kept getting blocked, and we got all these fives for this person that you're attracting. So I get a strong sense of this person, like, you know, is the one that wants this start once this new start they've had an epiphany and they're coming in optimistic they're coming in hopeful you know and we got marriage on the bottom of the deck that's a three so this person does uh value you value this connection this is that person that could see marriage you know this is like someone that can you know really see themselves building that love ship that work ship that connection and we have the Isley Brothers, make me say it again, still playing girl. So someone definitely wants to say something. You know, they're really wanting to say something. This is someone that thinks of you often. Like they can't get you off their brain. So the Divine Spirit, Peace, Power, and Protection. Let me get a message for our beloved Scorpios. Going to clarify and then we're going to work. So why is this four... Perseverance, nine, spiritual strength, and star here for the overall energy. So let's cut this deck. Put this back over here where it belongs. That goes there. All right. What is happening? Oh, my God. I just saw oh my goodness. Some of the cards are upright. Some are down. So they're all jacked. Let me put those. I got to start this over. Let me give my cards bang, bang, boogie. Are there any cards up right? All right, let me do this again. Sorry, y'all. I'm very anal when it comes to reading the energy. So let me see. Do a couple more shuffles. I'll do three. Cut the deck again, Ashe. So divine spirit, let's clarify these messages. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Spirit, let me get a message of peace, power, protection for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. So we have this thief here. So he was dealing with a thief of joy. He was dealing with someone who is also uh, trying to get you for what you got. You know, this is someone very jealous, very envious. Some of you all realized you was dealing with this because that 24 breaks down to six. And so I'm getting a sense of like the six of... Um, you know, your first die. And you see here the star. You could get some folks that are trying to steal perhaps even your ideas. I feel like you'll persevere through uh, set attacks. You know, these are people that may see you in the limelight. They may see something, value something about you. Um, and they may try to steal your ideas and they may, they may try to steal something for, from you, but this, this deceptive energy, even that, if that's like self-deception, I feel like you overcome that because you gained spiritual strength or this could just be speaking to what you endured in your past, dealing with energy, vampires, leeches, dealing with palace parasites, but you overcome, you know, those toxic entanglements you overcome those type of connections because you've cleansed yourselves you've purified yourselves you've purged people places and things that no longer serve you so these thieves you've you've you know moved away from that energy because i get the six of swords as well you moved away from people that were thieves of your energy what did i say about someone wanting to court you we have the courtship and this is the number four so this is what you're attracting to you this is who you're attracting to you um is uh, someone that will court you, as I said. This is someone that has learned from past lessons of their own. They could have learned even from watching you because this could be like a secret admirer. I see this angel, there's a statue of Cupid that's like shooting 
their arrow directly towards this feminine energy. And remember this star. So perhaps this, you know, divine feminine is the one manifesting, you know, this this courtship, this love ship, this spiritual partnership. Or maybe this is just the divine masculine that is manifesting this divine feminine. But this is a wish come true. This is a blessing. This is someone realizing that they have the ability to manifest. Something is turning around in your favor. This person, whoever's coming in, it will lead to a happy ending, to a triumphant outcome. This is absolutely someone that will communicate effectively. They will say something. Um, they will court you, as I said. This is someone that loves you. That four is showing me this could this is someone that could potentially even um propose. I'm getting proposal. I'm getting a proposal here. So why is 14 moderation, seven triumph, and the fool and strength card here? So we have main female here, number two. So someone feels like you're the one that could have equal give and take, an equal exchange of give and take, which is why this ace is here. You both have done your due diligence to heal. I feel like that's the moderation that person is currently making, but you both have been healing. You see two different hands pouring from a cup. In order for you to attract love, you have to radiate love, as I said earlier. And I feel like because you've healed that self, now you are attracting what you are. Self-love makes you more attractive, but it also means that you will attract someone in your likeness, someone on your vibration. Um, and this is why love begins because you are attracting someone that does speak your love language. We have Dave East, and this is called Godfather, and this is featuring Nas. So with Godfather, I do feel like for some of you all, you may have like, um, you know, like someone that is really like, um, like they, they protect you. It's like maybe you have a literal Godfather that may introduce you to someone godfather i'm getting a masculine energy from that as well let's tap in so with this main female someone is definitely attracting uh someone in their likeness you know i'm getting a two of cups I'm getting someone making a decision as well because two is about duality. But I also get a sense with this five, the seven, that's three. Three and two is five plus eight, five, uh, that's 13. So someone's going through a major change in their life right now, going through a death. That's why this triumphant card is here because they do find that balance and they do power ahead. They do uh, you know, come in victoriously. And they do have like, you know, this fresh start. So it does lead to some sort of victor victory because, you know, they have taken their power back or they own their power. So they do co overcome some sort of, uh, you know, difficulties. We have adjudication. So maybe there's, a, a you know, a dissolution of a marriage. How they feel about you is they could see themselves marrying you. They could see themselves, you know, going to the justice of the peace, you know, building, collaborating with you. They definitely know that you're expecting them because they know that you are highly intuitive, which is why I get a sense of them communicating with you intuitively or telepathically. This is someone that knows you're a master manifester, someone that knows you have divine knowledge and wisdom. So why is this a 71 health, passion ignited, and the three of pentacles here? Now this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. And we have message. And remember, I was picking up the fact that someone was going to write you a letter because we had strawberry uh, letter playing and you can see that there's, uh, you know, a phone there. This is someone that could either call you. They could send you a love letter. Uh, this is someone that may text you, uh, but there is communication. This is how they feel is they want to send a message. They want to communicate. But for now, you know, what they do is they may dream. They're up in their head. That seven is, you know, the crown chakra. So they, you know, they utilize you know the the cerebral uh means of contacting you we have this gift here so they find you to be a gift i also feel what's hidden because that's what we're about to pull is this person may give you something tangible this box could be like a ring box so this could be a proposal because we're clarifying we will be we're about to clarify 77 spirituality with love begins 
with the hermit. So this is someone that has reflected and they have come to the grand epiphany that they want to offer you a gift. This is 17, that's eight. So that's that same star. Someone sees you as a star. This is that miracle. This is that uh, answered prayers. So whoever you've been calling in, spirit is giving you this gift, granting you this gift. Uh, whatever you have been manifesting, calling in, it is coming in abundantly. Because, you know, in traditional tarot, the hermit looks on to the star. He looks, you know, in, at the lantern at a star. So it's like you're setting intention. You've set this intention. And we have groove theory, tell me, playing. So someone's about to tell you that they really feel you, that they really are intrigued by you, that they really like you, that they're attracted to you, that they love you. And this is going to be the beginning of your love story with this person because this is your spiritual partner. This is a sacred connection. This is the one that Cupid was, you know, um, shooting its arrow for. But there's a miracle. There's an answered prayer. This is a blessing. So someone is calling you. Someone will message you. I was telling you I was getting someone wants to talk to you with the 77. That breaks down to 14. That's five. So what they do is they opt for, you know, psychic or intuitive messages. This is also that person that you're attracting or what you're attracting to you. That's 14. That's five again. So this is how I knew that they really desire to communicate. And I feel like communication is going to change things because this person will eventually, you know, send that message. So, and we got imprisoned, so someone could literally be trapped in a situation, feeling trapped. They're dealing with some sort of rat, some sort of energy they, can, they can't trust. That's why we got this um, thief here. So someone could be like, you know, dealing with a situation perhaps at their job or dealing with a situation in another partnership, uh, in a karmic relationship that they're wrapping up and making some necessary changes before they could come towards you. That's powerful. So this main female and this message. So did this fall out? Now I'm confused as to whether or not this, this fell out. Or if this was just on the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to take it. Spirit's telling me to take it because I was getting a sense of like someone does want to communicate. So let's get one more just in case it didn't. Um, fall out because I was building so long I don't forgot what took place what transpired beloved so what is um why is the 71 health the passion ignited three of pentacles here for how this person feels they go sudden wealth so they feel like they hit the jackpot that's the first thing I heard they feel like they hit the jackpot. Like I said, you are a wish fulfillment to this person. They also feel like you are their twin. They feel like this is destined. They also see you as successful. Like you, you just lucky. You strike it, you know, rich somehow. With the 71, that eight, I was getting like they do see you as a wish fulfillment. And remember, the eight is here. So you're like a miracle. You're like a blessing. And we got this 20 house. So someone could still be trapped. We got groove theory tell me. So this is perhaps why someone didn't tell you something before, because maybe they were still in, in an entanglement or someone could have still had some sort of ties to something or someone, either or, or maybe they just felt bound and stuck, unable to emote or express their feelings, unable to be vulnerable, but now they want to express something with this too. House, I feel like, you know, they feel like you're their foundation. They feel like they want to build with you. This person may travel to see you. This is somebody that may, you know, be at a distance I'm getting. So they could be strategizing how to visit you, how to travel to you. Why is this 77 spirituality love begins and the hermit here for how, uh, for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to run and we have main male here. So we have main female. The death card showed up. So they're ending something. Every ending denotes a new beginning. This is 10. So they're wrapping up a cycle. Maybe there was a loss of a loved one. We had godfathers. So maybe someone lost like a father figure, a, a patriarch of the family. But I get a sense of like there, there being some sort of death and ending. Someone had to go through some sort of death, a loss. Uh, yeah. So maybe a relationship. 
they, it, they suffered heartache and loss. This is giving me like the three of swords. So they was in a marriage or a partnership. Something ended um, painfully, felt like a death. You know, and um, but now with love begins, I feel like there's, you know, some healing that's taken place, as we can see here. You know, with the 66 right next to it. So what's hidden is someone is uh, going through what appears to be like a breakup. You know, we saw that card um, courthouse or something like that. And I was getting a dissolution of a marriage with main male. I feel like this is whoever you're attracting to you because how they feel about you is main female. So feminines, you have a main male that feels you're their main one. And females, you feel like there's a main male that you're that they're your main one. And remember, we saw 12, 12 today, and that broke down to three, three, which was six. So this is like I'm getting again a past life love. I'm also getting you know um, you know a suit. You know this is like you know a masculine and feminine energy. So the yin and yang, that three is giving me empress. So there's a strong attraction or strong bond you will find. There goes a victory. There's a victory ahead. So whatever you've toiled, there goes another 11. So there's like five, the seven, and this uh, two breaks down to nine. That's the change that's taken place. There is a victory. Your hard work is paying off like spirit realized or noticed, I should say, your toil and labor, how laborous things were, um, and how much you, you know, affected Whatever the change was, like you made it your business to do the necessary work, same as the person, to heal thyself. You know, whenever I see double numbers, I feel that you and the person you're attracting mirroring your energy. This person definitely is going through their own dark night of the soul journey, but there is a victorious outcome. This is showing, you know, that chariot energy again, uh, because this is high honors. That's the number seven. And remember who you're attracting to you. Is we had the triumph card seven is associated with the chariot it's also the first eye so someone does get past whatever limited um belief system thoughts it's like they get past that especially you know with this wheel of fortune here so there's a turning point and things will turn around i feel like spirit is absolutely the one um you know that is bringing in some sort of victory because he's realized how work, how hard you've worked. This 11 is the justice card. So, you know, your hard work, your labor, it will pay off. You will get your just due, um, especially with destined, the destiny card. The wheel of fortune is like spirit bringing what's destined for you in. So this is stability. This is security. Um, I feel this person that you're attracting is going through their own dark night of the soul journey this is the one you know because you got the main female the main male so this is the one that i was getting you know that past life connection because this is like that yin yang energy uh so you know that cosmic companion uh you've had to learn by dealing with people who were energy vampires uh your person may have had to learn uh you know by dealing with people who um you know, we're kind of, you know, silencing them, preventing them from speaking their truth, causing confusion. You know, there's, there's like this energy of like realizing that you're your worst enemy. Uh, the mind is the devil's playground. That's why the devil loves to manipulate, plays games. It's a trickster, puppeteers. And that's what this energy is. And when you are in this status, you cannot see anything clearly. So I feel that's why uh, your angels had to step in to, you know, cut you free with the Ace of Swords to give you the clarity to see beyond the veil. Uh, and whoever you're with, they're going through their own ending. Um, and that's why they have this brand new beginning here with this fool taking that leap of faith uh, and having the clarity, having that um, strength to power ahead, to triumphantly move forward to take action to go after what they want that is that energy so this is beautiful so i do feel beloved scorpios whoever you are attracting to you this is an energy that is like it's preordained like this is destined and you can't go wrong with 
something that's destined with what spirit is aligning you with. Everything that you've endured, whatever this person has endured, it was all a matter of divine timing, but also it was all a matter of design. It's like that's what built spiritual strength. That's what built your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual prowess. It's like that's why you are this alchemist, this magi manifesting and setting your intentions. That is why you are attracting, you know, what you deserve, what you desire. You're attracting the interests of others. You're having victories and breakthroughs because you have done the work. You spiritually, you know, healed. You've been very diligent to learn your lessons, to do the knowledge, to master yourself, to change those faulty belief systems, ideologies, to heal from heartache, loss, disappointment, betrayals, backstabbing, deception. And now you are at this pinnacle point where things are turning around. You're at the junction where spirit is pushing things forward. You know, whatever was blocked, whatever was delayed, it wasn't meant to come to you at that time because those individuals that you had in your life weren't meant to enjoy what spirit is, is has to offer you because they were thieves. They were energy vampires. They were there for a good time, not a long time. And so this is the energy that you are or were attracting to you or what your person was attracting to you, everything that wasn't good. And that's why now this dagger is being pulled, you know, is being uh, pulled out to cut yourself free or this person is cutting themselves free from these attachments, you know, from these addictions, from these afflictions, from these false individuals, from these fugazis. This could even be, you know, the self deception as well, you know, and, and finally gaining the clarity, seeing things for what it truly is. This dagger will eventually be used, you know, this dagger, pardon me, will eventually be used to, you know, cut yourself free from this, this bind here, but you'll have the clarity. So this is a beautiful message. Spirit has been really letting it be known that you all have a sacred connection. This is not just a love connection. This is this will be a very strong spiritual bond, and you will have a very successful, opulent, abundantly um, prosperous, <laughs> abundantly prosperous business. Whatever you're doing with this person, they're going to be a great like partner. Like this is someone that is really going to have some really grand ideas. You both will learn together. You both will grow together. It's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. And the bonus is that, you know, it's 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 like you both want to see each other win. You both are, you know, really cultivating and nurturing the connection together, which is making it even more, you know, of a beautiful connection because you both are, you know, you're learning. You've learned. You've learned, but more importantly, you both will be willing to nurture, to cultivate this connection, this bond. And that's what will intensify the emotions, the feelings of love. This is beautiful. This is your message, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. Again, I do apologize for the sound. I've been having a lot of technical issues with my computer. My daughter was gracious enough to let me use her computer um, in hopes that the sound quality uh, will be up to par, not to mention I'm using the third microphone that I have purchased. Um, but I thank you all who are new. I hope that the message has resonated. I hope that the energy, my energy, all vibed with yours. To my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. If this video, 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 if this video resonates with you all, please be kind. Hit the like button, like button, like button, get me into the algorithms. I've been uploading more frequently, um, just wanting to dedicate more time uh, to really build the channel. Um, that's really what I've been feeling motivated to do. I just feel like there's so much to to share. You know, um, so many people are going through things and I just want to uh, allow a, a safe space for people who are 
you know, seeking uh, for some sort of resolve or, you know, just to get a little confirmation or a little nudge that they're on the right path. And I just wish to be, you know, a light, you know, a beacon of light in some way. So I will that this message has resonated for you. Um, I am offering personal readings if you are new. So if you enjoy the, the reading here um, and you're interested in booking with me, look in the description box and click the link uh, to go to my website and I have a uh, emergency reading, which is one hour, and then I have two readings that are just um, just your regular readings. You'll get those within four to five days. The emergency reading you will get within 24 hours. Um, and also browse the Etsy shop. I have a lot of dope items on there that I handcraft. I set intentions and I, you know, supercharge and activate every item that I have on my altars. Um, and so you will feel that power. But um, thank you so much again for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Oh, peace, love, and light.